The Southeast Texas Urban Integrated Field Lab is about addressing acute and chronic stressors and compounding hazards that are affecting communities in Southeast Texas. It's a collaborative project among four Texas institutions and Oak Ridge National Lab. By partnering national laboratories with local academic institutions, we can bring large national capabilities and resources to solve problems that are identified by local communities and task forces. This community-driven approach is critical to study the impacts of climate change on real people in real cities like Port Arthur and Beaumont in this project. What makes the ecosystem so unique is that we have so many in Southeast Texas, from the coastal ecosystems, through the marshes, to the wetlands, to the longleaf pine. What we learned from Plant Texas 2050 is that when you look at challenges such as dealing with compounding hazards, you're dealing with communities that are exposed to these hazards, you really need to bring everyone to the table. And also taught us that this two-way approach is really important. And so the Southeast Texas UFL has both a top-down approach, which is kind of like the classic way to do science. We run our models, we create our projections, but also there's a very important bottom-up approach that allows us to start from the communities and really ask them what matters to them. The flooding hazards are very interesting and complex because this region is affected by compounding flooding. And with that, I mean the flooding can come from a river, it can come from rainfall directly, and it can come from the coast. So what we're doing is developing high resolution climate projections and inputting them in hydrological models that can account for these different types of flooding. And that, that gives us high resolution predictions of where it's going to flood. We have sensors installed on various places to understand better how the flows go. It gives you information on flooding on areas that are difficult to model, and that information can be integrated to calibrate our numerical models so that their solution is much more close to what happens in reality. The Sniffer Lab leads uh, outdoor and indoor air quality measurements, focusing on volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. We aim to quantify the factors that affect human health. So this uh, mobile van is an unprecedented and cool tool for us because we are able to take mobile measurements. We can do spatial mapping. We can see where the major pollution hotspots are. This really helps us understand what kind of sources are around and contributing to different pollutants and to different exposures in the communities. We wanted to think about you know, um, adaptable uh, solutions or adaptation strategies in, in the face of future climate. So I think a lot of people feel forgotten in this area. We went through several different disasters in the past several years. And uh, where we did get some assistance, we were kind of on the back burner of it. And so I believe that people want to make sure that uh, when things are coming our way, we see a disaster or we can um, see that we may need assistance is that we have support from all the resources around us and making sure that people have access to those resources. It's one thing to have um, things on paper, resources available, but can people really get access to what they need? And with that, it means that we want to understand, first of all, the current hazards, so flooding and air quality, how they're affecting the communities here, and whether there's an inequitable distribution of the impact. Here in Southeast Texas, there's a lot of people who've lived here a long time. They know what's happened. Some of them know what happened in, in the more riverine floods 10 years ago and how it affected a, a neighborhood and how deep the water might get. I mean, the information they give us is, is critical. And once we have this information, we're combining that with how socially vulnerable communities are and also how exposed they are to air quality issues as well, so that we can understand hotspots of both flooding and air pollution. For like emergency management, let's say there's a senior citizen that has a pet and they need to be evacuated and all, they'll understand, well, we need to get this person out earlier. Um, when it starts flooding at this level, let's already go over and check on them. Co-design is really essential to this project. We want to make sure that the knowledge that we develop that is meant to empower the communities in developing adaptation strategies has to be in a form that the community understands and appreciates. Preparedness is so important. And so having people to understand uh, where we stay at um, and what may come our way and the things that they can have in place to mitigate those issues 
it's going to be so important uh, for us to continue to have a better quality of life here. What's a concern? A am I prepared? What did I forget? What am I supposed to do? And then what is the city or the county? What are the municipalities doing to protect us? Right here, we're doing a lot of research on green stormwater infrastructure. When you build up buildings and you pave roads and you pave parking areas, it decreases the infiltration and so there's more runoff from those sections. The more we put concrete, then the more flooding we're gonna have. So we wanna deal with how, how we're going to mitigate those. There's a lot of infiltration from stormwater into the ground and only a little portion runs off. So we're trying to mimic that cycle where the water comes through this permeable pavement and stores underground and has time to infiltrate into the ground and also replenish the groundwater and things and decrease the amount of stormwater we might have for flooding from industry to the community people, and then the engineers that design the roads, the infrastructure, the cities, the counties, we're all working together to get solutions um, and try and help each other out. So if you help in one neighborhood, it's gonna help the downstream neighborhood and, and those kind of things. The Southeast Texas UIFL is about making an impact and making a change and making sure that we empower Southeast Texas communities in developing adaptation strategies for future climate. It's also important to know that the challenges that are experienced here are very similar to other parts of the Gulf region and also other parts of the United States. And so the solutions that we will develop here will be helpful to other communities elsewhere as well.